So I was asked whether when we use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT here, do we have to use liters as our volume? And the answer is yes, and here's why. So when we're looking at our volume here, with R, R is this constant, and it helps all of the units cancel out and the equation makes sense. So if we look at R, depending on what unit we have for pressure, so if pressure is an ATM here, this is the R we'll use. If it's in millimeters of mercury, we use this value for R. And if we have KPA, we'll use this value. But what you'll notice for ATM in millimeters of mercury, we have liters right there in the constant. And so that means that you need to have volume in liters, so everything's going to cancel out. Same goes for temperature. If you look at temperature here, all of these have Kelvin as the temperature scale. So with the ideal gas law, temperature has to be in Kelvin. So in answer to our question, when you're doing the ideal gas law, volume needs to be in liters, temperature needs to be in Kelvin. If you need help converting those units, there is a link in the description of this video. So I hope this answers your question that when we're using the ideal gas law, we need to be working in liters. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.